San Diego City Council approves an ordinance to ban ghost guns. Here to talk about it is Council Member Marnie Von Wilpert. Marnie, good morning. Thanks for taking the time. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure. Uh, you, you made it your mission to, to make this happen. Why was this ban so important to you? Yes, so I am a former deputy city attorney here in San Diego. So public safety, including preventing gun violence, is incredibly important to me. So for those who may not know, a ghost gun is a term for a homemade, personally manufactured firearm that lacks commercial serial numbers, can easily become untraceable. And these unregulated guns are made at home using unfinished frames or receivers, which are the lower parts of a gun, and can be assembled into functionally firearm, functional firearms in minutes. So we've seen a rise in gun violence in our communities, and anyone can get these guns, including people who pose a danger to our communities, such as violent criminals, domestic violence abusers, individuals suffering from mental health, and terrorists. So that's why I decided to act. As with anything, people want to know, how will this be monitored? How are you going to know that they're out there, and how do you stop it? Yeah, so our law was designed to stop this problem at its source. It's these unregulated, unfinished receivers and frames that are the parts people are using and criminals are using to build unregulated ghost guns at home. So our law will require these parts to become serialized before they're sold, and that will treat them just like any other licensed firearm in society. Background checks required, waiting periods, and we're working with the San Diego Police Department to make sure that people know about this law. We'll work with gun manufacturers, community groups. You know, there's still a ramp up period before it goes into effect. We have to hear this ordinance again at City Council, September 14th. It'll take 30 days to go into effect. So we will have plenty of time to let people know, let the community know. But the goal here is really to stop this problem at its source and prevent criminals and other dangerous individuals from getting the parts they need to build these illegal guns. We had Chief Nislight here on our set just yesterday morning. I asked him about his thoughts on ghost guns. He's seeing a lot more of them recently. Here's what he had to say. I think you saw a lot of people during the pandemic were worried about their safety, so they bought firearms, and now this created this whole little niche market of ghost guns. And, yeah. you know, we've already reached our total for 2020 already in the, in the first six months. We've already exceeded that. Oh. And so it's very concerning. We're also, you know, not only impounding ghost guns, but impounding, you know, legally made firearms, if you would, at a higher rate than we did in 2020. So it's concerning. But the ghost guns, I've been very outspoken about ghost guns. I'm very concerned about them getting into the hands of those that are prohibited either because of mental health evaluations or uh, due to crime. You heard what he said there in six months. We're already at the level from all of 2020. What are your thoughts on what the chief had to say? You I actually spoke with Chief Neslai just about this last night, and I worked hand in hand with law enforcement to bring this ordinance forward. You know, I was spurred to action by the mass shooting in April of this year in the gas lamp perpetrated by a man who was legally prohibited from owning a firearm because of his past criminal history. He assembled the parts to make a ghost gun at home and then committed murder, ended the life of a fellow San Diegan and shot four tourists. Hmm. So I asked the police to compile a report about what they were seeing with ghost guns. And that's when we decided to act. As Chief Neslight said, they've seen 169% increase in the amount of ghost guns in our communities. So we're hoping that this law will help stem that tide. We want to do whatever we can to make it harder for these firearms to fall into the wrong hands. There was only one person on the council who voted no for this, Councilman Chris Kate. I know you're well aware of that. Uh, he said this will not prevent any mass shootings. He said this does not hold criminals accountable. And then he said that this will do nothing, nothing to make people safer. What is your response to the councilman? Uh, and did you see him after he made those comments? And what did you say? I, no, Councilman Kate and I actually have a really great relationship. We have very rational open, respectful conversations. And that's how I believe government should be run. We should be able to share ideas and learn from each other. We respectfully disagree on this point. I believe that by making sure people cannot obtain parts with no serial numbers, no traceable regulations at home to build the ghost guns, that will make a difference in our communities. That will prevent criminals, folks with mental illness, people who may want to harm themselves from getting a gun. So for example, we had someone testify yesterday at the rally before we went to City Hall who said he obtained the ghost gun parts 
at 17 years old, sent to his home. He did it as a test trial to show he's trying to prevent school shootings. But look what can happen if teenagers can even get these unregulated ghost gun parts and build their own gun. So the goal here is just to bring these ghost guns out of the shadows, make them legal, background checks, just like any other firearm. That way, lawful gun sure. owners can still purchase them, but criminals cannot. I know you say you have a good working relationship, but we, we, we've known Chris for a while. I don't remember ever hearing him come out with such strong statements about something in his time in office. So for a hot button topic like this, that's a heck of a disagreement. Well, it is a disagreement. We disagree. Obviously, the council went through eight to one. You heard the San Diego police chief explain the need for people to actually take action and do something about ghost guns. You know, this it's not just about enhancing criminal penalties either manufacturers can be held liable civilly as well. There could be civil fines for shipping these unregulated, unlicensed ghost gun parts into San Diego. We can really stem this tide from a variety of perspectives. And this is one idea, one extra tool police will have in their tool belt to help combat the rise in gun violence here in San Diego. Council member Marnie Von Wilpert, we thank you for the time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much.